Hi, my name is Roman Crewen. I'm the Residential Training Manager here at Habegger Corporation in Illinois. I am in our beautiful training facility in Champaign, and I wanted to take a few minutes of your time to talk about a product that I am very excited about, and that is the new CAP VP coils. And this coil design is coming to us not because of necessarily a need to redesign a really great product, it is because of an energy mandate. Currently, 13 SEER is the energy uh, mandated from the uh, 2015 requirements. We're going to the 2023 requirements coming up, and that requires a 14 SEER, so that is why we have the redesign of this coil. So with the energy change, we have to look at the height. The new V coil could maintain 17 inches tall, and if this new coil wasn't developed, we would see a similar coil at about 30 inches tall. So this redesign is birthed out of the energy needs, the efficiency needs that are coming up. The new V coils have three different height differences. They're the exact same height. They're about two inches taller or they're four inches taller. So there might be a slight increase, but definitely not what we would have without this new design. So. That's the exterior of the box, but that looks pretty similar. Let's get into what we're looking at on the inside. All 13 screws are removed. Let's go ahead and take off our front cover. Panel number one. And panel number two. So let's answer some basic questions to start with is why this V configuration? Remember, we're coming from an N coil now to the V coil. Well, first of all, we've got better condensate management. When we pull this out, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, less cabinet surface area. So because this design is shorter than the 2023 mandate, they've designed this to keep height always in mind. Less box means less energy loss, less uh, chance of condensation. Definitely easy serviceability. Take a look at here when we get in here. I can, with the front cover off, I can take a look at the inside of the coil as well as the back side of the coil. This entire coil with the removal of 13 screws, I can take a look at everything. Even our TXV. Even our TXV is super accessible, super easy to inspect. Serviceability, delta plates gone, easy to look at and by far better corrosion resistance to what we've seen in any other previous product. Let's go ahead and take our evaporator coil out of the casing. Now most of these evaporators slide out pretty easy, but I'm just going to give an example of how easy this one is. So here's our evaporator coil uncased, and we could tell that this is a lot different versus any other evaporator coil. First of all, this is a micro channel coil, and a micro channel coil um, really has some benefits. It uh, results in a more even controlled airflow. There's a lower pressure drop over the coil. These particular coils, you're gonna get about 0.10 of an inch less static pressure drop. Um, we're also gonna see higher system efficiency. Our blowers aren't gonna work near as much. Longer blower life, less noise in the ductwork, less turbulence, and hey, after the end of the day, we're gonna have a happier customer with this product because it gets rid of a lot of uh, harsh things that we all have to deal with. So on the micro-channel coil, this design I find to be super easy to service. Once again, everything is just right here. So let's take a look at the condensate. This is our condensate pan. I'm gonna flip this up. This is it. So this coil, once slid out, and it slides out very easy, basically it's like a T. And with this, any condensation, anything that comes up, we can easily take a look at and clean by getting water down there and flushing it out. Very straightforward. Less waste, better airflow across the coil. We're actually able to get airflow on this part of the coil where before we, we used to have about an inch and a half, two inch lip right here. That entire coil is getting airflow. Um, sometimes we've seen uh, across all brands, fatigue failures in commercial units. Well, that happens because this part of the coil in commercial is really long. This is, this is you know, double, triple, quadruple. And so with vibration and, and things of that nature, any coil, the longer it is, the more, more prone they are to uh, stress cracks. These have been kept short uh, and so we're not going to be experiencing that, I perceive. Also, we hear about copper aluminum joint failure. And today's joints, we're just not going to see that, I don't think, because of how this is brazed. If, if, if you take a look at this, 
This is an incredibly well done. It can't even compare to what we see with the copper aluminum fin tube. This is very, very precise. What can you expect at installation? As far as placement goes, if your coil is larger than your furnace, we need a four inch centered transition, a four inch centered transition. Now this is pretty critical. You don't want to put this evaporator coil directly on top of your furnace if the evaporator coil is larger. Can't do that. Also in the past, a dog leg on the left was acceptable. Can't be done. This is a limitation of this product. Don't dog leg it on the left and do not dog leg it on the right. Even the end coils, you couldn't do that. We see here also that we've got four places to connect our condensate. Now what we'll see is that, you know, typically in our region, we normally have one. Certain states, um, they do require a secondary uh, condensate, but you have the choice of left side, right side. Super important fact that this is not a seal. These are not seals that you can rely on to keep your condensate in place. So if you are gonna use this one or just this one, these red caps come off and a plug or a cap or however you wanna do it need to be installed. You can't just install here and leave these three caps. And we want PVC. That is what needs to be connected in here. Finger tight and then one and a half turns. That's the correct spec on these. Um, if you're using a crescent wrench to really torque these down, you are asking yourself for trouble. Really a dream as far as cleaning goes. I mean, the whole coil could be slid out, pan dropped. There's no screws into the coil, a dream to clean. Installation practices, when it comes to brazing, of course, we've got our nitrogen running through it, standard practices, but this becomes critical. We've got a shorter piece here it's on a horizontal plane, so this must be wrapped, and this should be done anyways. This is a standard practice. This must be wrapped with a wet rag to contain the heat. When this TXV hits 212 degrees, it starts to cook. So if it's too hot to touch for more than a second, you probably have something there that is gonna cause an issue down the road. No one likes those kind of warranties. Suction line dips down, definitely isolating this with a wet rag. No need to add or subtract refrigerant because we're going to this. This fits with all current specs. So if we have a condenser at 15 feet, takes nine pounds of refrigerant, it is nine pounds of refrigerant. No addition, no subtraction, don't have to worry about that. And the same thing with charging, charge to subcool within three degrees, standard factory, been this way for many years. This is an AC application only right now. In the future, I'm sure that'll be addressed. And the TXVs are probably going to look a little different. Right now, this is an adjustable TXV. They call this basically pre-production. This isn't final product. It's close, but it's pre-production. So this is an adjustable TXV. You do not have to adjust the TXV. This TXV has been adjusted for you at the factory. But if someone ever needed to get back there and adjust it, you could do that quite easily by accessing it through the nut. Um, in the final version, I believe there's 30 some thousand of these being made right now, but in the final version, this will not be adjustable. This will be more of the standard of what you see. Also, the pre-production version, which is what we're dealing with right now in the fall of 2021, all of these connections are seven eighths on the suction side. This is seven eighths. Everything you're gonna get right now is seven eighths. On the final production, it'll be three quarters, three eighths. This is an air conditioning only application right now, upflow or downflow. So we're not seeing this right now in horizontal. That probably is a to be continued, but upflow, downflow, AC only. And this entire coil is AHRI certified. So you can go to the AHRI tables and take a look at it and, and, and just see your efficiency ratings and how they match up. Before I go, I just wanna show one piece right here. No, uh, no braze joints. It's one solid piece, a lot less chance of, of corrosion being done by this sitting in the water. Fantastic design. Thanks for watching this video and uh, taking a look at this new V coil that we're gonna be seeing more of. Please reach out to your service manager in your region should you have any further questions or are interested in seeing more about this product. Uh, we're gonna be seeing you guys this fall for our in-person training. I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>